this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Now, when it comes to one caliber that can do it all, you know, I see so many comments on social media. Um, I had got one, I, matter of fact, one video I've done, I got like 30 comments on this. And, you know, it's a lot of new people who comes into the 2A community. And, you know, when they start, you know, building their ammo and stuff up. And, you know, one thing is, you know, when you have people who's been doing this for a long time, and then, you know, you have people who just coming in, uh, you know, I see this debate all the time. But, you know, we're going to talk about this because, you know, this is bigger than I probably thought it was. It's bigger than what a lot of people probably think it is. So we're going to get into this. You know, one caliber that can do it all. Now, when you look at all the ammunition and stuff that is out there, there's not too many calibers that can do it all. But there is one that can do it all in pretty much all platforms. So let's get into it. Let's start the video. What up? This is Dish Channel Guns coming at you with another ammo video. Bringing the energy people coming at you every day with the energy and stuff. So I appreciate the ones who found the channels. Appreciate y'all. Also, shout out to the new people in the 2A community. People, we're going to keep doing that. We need more people coming in. If you look at the last couple, few decades or many decades, you constantly got to have new people coming in the 2A community. People, that is how we're going to win when it comes to upholding the Constitution and the Second Amendment. So also, pretty much support your 2A channels out there, um, your gun channels and stuff. People need all the help we can right now. Also, shout out to y'all that smashed that like button, share it on your favorite social media platform and everything. Um, shout out to y'all in the comment section and everything. You know, you come over here and you let us know what's going on, your opinions and stuff. Uh, to my very much appreciated and stuff. It helps the channel and stuff, so I appreciate you contributing to that. And another shout out to y'all that come over here every single day through the good and the bad ups and downs. Nothing moves in a straight line, people, so you already know what time it is, people. Let's get into it. Ammo, ammo, ammo time, people. It's ammo time. Ammo is new gold. Everybody's trying to get it. So right now, when it comes to ammo, people, I'm talking about, you know, we've been talking about ammo, ammo, ammo up here. I'm talking about, we've been talking about so much ammo. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't know what's going on. We talk about so much ammo right now. I'm talking about one thing about ammo, people, is one of the things that you're going to need at the end of the day. I'm talking about you look at other countries. You look at what's going around the world and stuff. Guess what? Ammo. A lot of people don't understand this. You know, you know, I got a question one time. You, you talk about ammo. Ammo is very important to the 2A community. I'm talking about one thing about ammo people. You look at other countries. Now, this is some of the research I've been doing. When I look at other countries, they're spending so much money on their ammo. I'm talking about a lot of money on their ammo. I'm talking about more than any pretty much anything you can think of. Look at, look, at, look at right now, look at Haiti and stuff. I, to my, I know you've been seeing the headlines and stuff. I know you've been seeing the headlines. I, to my, you have citizens pretty much have to arm up and protect themselves. I, to my, the place is going wild over there. And guess what they need? Ammo. They need ammo. I'm, I saw an article that, you know, they're trying to get lots of ammo in there. Because, you know, like I said, you know, the, the, the place is pretty much uh, disrupt right now. Just like over here during the pandemic, what did people get first? Ammo. It was food and pretty much ammo. Everybody flocked to ammo so quickly because security. At the end of the day, people, you need security. You need to protect yourself and your family and all that kind of stuff. So ammo is very important. That's what a lot of people don't understand. But, you know, when you look at other countries, they spend a lot of money on ammo, people. So right now, we already know what ammo prices are looking like. We already know the sales of ammo and stuff like that. And to my everything is through the roof, people. Uh, to my, you're gonna have some dips and stuff, but ammo is still most important. But to get on to the video and everything, you know, when you first start, you know, coming into the two A community, you buy your first farm and stuff. The first thing that people are buying, the, the number one caliber, the first farm people buy is pretty much a handgun, people. And most time that caliber is nine millimeter. Now I've been seeing a lot of pretty much uh, on social media. Um, on my channel, certain videos, I get this number one question. I'm talking about it tops all the questions I pretty much be getting. And, you know, I see comments, you know, people going back and forth and stuff on this and everything. 
you know, you know, one caliber that I see that can pretty much do it all, people. And, you know, a lot of people, when they first come in, you know, you get people that comes in and stuff. You know, I talk to people. I know friends and stuff when they get in. Um, you know, they mostly, if they get a 9 millimeter, people, they kind, of, they kind of stick with that and stuff. And then when you introduce another caliber, you know, you got another form and stuff, you know, it, it gets a little complicated for them. Not for everybody, but, you know, a lot of people is not you know, has been in this for a while, can have six or seven calibers and stuff, two, three, four calibers and stuff. A lot of people tend to want to stick with one when they first get in. So, you know, with that said, now one caliber that I feel like can do it all is the nine millimeter people. The nine millimeter. Until my, I know some of you probably don't want to hear that, but the nine millimeter is one of the calibers that can do it all. Now you have other calibers that could be in multiple platforms and stuff. But then you know it run out of it run out of steam, and what I mean by that is that a lot of manufacturers and stuff they pretty much build firearms for the nine millimeter. You got the carbines out there and stuff. I tell my, you got so many platforms that pretty much use the, the nine millimeter handguns, carbines. I tell my, it's so many platforms out there, and you know magazines are being built around the, the nine millimeter to fit um, other platforms and stuff like that. So for new shooters who are coming in, new gun owners coming in, they're tend to gonna have a nine millimeter. And you know, a lot of them ask this question that, you know, can I get so-and-so this platform? Yes, it's so many platforms you can build around the nine millimeter. If you just want one caliber people, the nine millimeter is it. I looked at other countries. There's other countries who are to my, you know, you know you got the five, five, six, the two, two, three, and all the other you know, big calibers and stuff for your rifles and stuff out there. But other countries, I've seen a lot of countries, China, um, there was some, um, some more Europe countries and stuff. They pretty much built most of their platforms around the nine millimeter. Their carbines up to my, you know, for everything I was looking at. Why? It's because they're probably saving money. It's cost for them to just focus on one platform. Now, not to say they don't have other calibers, but far as the police and stuff like that, other countries pretty much use platforms that use the nine millimeter and you know and a lot of people i guess when they come in and stuff like that it does save you money and costs and stuff because if i don't bolt three four five six seven hundred rounds of nine millimeter for my handgun and then you know now i'm looking at another platform a rifle or whatever the case may be a carbine that use another caliber then it's more like, you know, now I got to start all over and, and, and stuff like that. I kind of understand that. I understand a lot of people not going to understand that point of view unless you've been there. And especially when you're coming in and you know built all this, bought all this ammo. When I was in, when I was during the pandemic, when I was in some of the retailers, majority of people was looking for a nine millimeter, buying nine millimeter. And they bought nine millimeter. When I was seeing people in line, they was buying a lot of nine millimeter. So, you know, for these new people to just jump and try to jump on another caliber might be a little difficult since they don't spend all this money on the nine millimeter. And I don't show you the records. I don't show you the indexes. I don't show you the history. Any caliber, so any caliber that, you know, is pretty much um, that's going to pretty much sell out, be the number one seller up to my every year, up to my no matter if it's a shortage or not, it's gonna be nine millimeter. Why? It's because the platform, the firearm, the handguns, they pretty much are the are you know the top sellers in every category I had looked at. So that's the reason why that nine millimeter is that one caliber that can do it all. Now you can also look at other calibers such as 22, your 40s and 45, there in certain platforms. But majority, a lot of things has been built around the nine millimeter. Up to my, you know, but you can find the nine millimeter platforms pretty much everywhere. Up to my, you can, you can, like I said, in other countries, you can find the same, the same exact thing that's going on. So, up to my, there's nothing wrong with going with one caliber, people. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Up to my, but if that's the route you want to take, up to my, that's fine. Up to my, I love the nine millimeter too. Up to my, I love other calibers too and stuff like that. So. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, people. If that's the route that you want to choose and stuff, um, but you know, like I said before, it is gonna. It's kind of hard for a lot of people who bought a lot of ammo in one caliber to pretty much all of a sudden now I want to, you know, start buying other calibers and stuff like that. It's take a little time for that. Um, to my when I first came in, there were certain calibers I liked that I had loved and loved, and then to switch to another one is a little difficult and stuff. So I understand that point, whatever. But if you're going to pick one, people, it's going to be the 9mm. It's used all across the world. All across the world, people. 
I'm talking about you can go to any country and they're going to have the 9mm. So that is the advantage of the 9mm when I look at any other calibers and stuff. I'm talking about try to go in another country and, and try to get some 40 and, and see how that work out for you and stuff like that. So, you know, there are other countries who have different calibers than our country. So if you're from another country to come in our our country and stuff, certain calories that y'all have in y'all country that might be popular, you might, you, we might not have it here. So that is something you got to think about and everything. And it is one of the most cheapest, um, you know, pretty much self-defense caliber or military caliber that you can buy and stuff. But it's also the one, the most bought too, because during the shortage, this is still hard to find. And right now, even right now, coming, reopening and stuff, ammo is coming on the shelves. You can find it. You can barely find it. It's not plentiful. But when you do see it, it is gone. So we, don't blink your eye, people. Get it when you see it because it'll be gone if that's the route that you want to choose when it comes to one caliber and stuff. So I kind of want to put my perspective on that and everything. And there is nothing wrong. There is no rules to what caliber that you you can, you can got to have four or five calibers, people. I've been saying it for a long time. There is no rule. Some people think it's a rule that you got to diversify. Uh, to my, when you diversify when it comes to ammo, there's certain reason why certain people diversify because some ammo might not be available at certain times. We saw this during the pandemic. But if you well stocked on one caliber, it should serve its purpose. You should be just fine and everything. But at least if you do need a caliber, 9mm is probably the one you'll be able to find if you need to buy it for somebody and stuff like that. So that is the advantage of the 9mm. So with that said, this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.